Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and hopefully you have most everything with your clients QuickBooks Online files entered for 2023 or you're getting very close to it. You could even do this now though to make sure nobody goes back in there and changes anything that needs to be the same for taxes. So we're going to talk about today closing the books. And it's very easy to do. Now, before I jump into this, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel, share it with others. I mostly talk about QuickBooks online and desktop materials and topics with a few other surprises thrown in here and there. And I'm trying to get my watch hours up to 4,000. So if you can help me with that, that would be great. Well, anyway, that's all there is about that. So anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what you're going to do. I'm in the Kathy's bookkeeping test file. And let's say I'm ready to close the books for 2023. And this is all you have to do. You go over here to the big year icon, click on it, go over here to account and settings. Once you click on that and that opens up, now that I'm in the account and settings, I want to go all the way down here to the bottom here and click on advance. And what that's going to do is going to open up the advanced tab and you want to be up here in the first card here. This is the accounting tab and this is where we actually go in here and close the books. As you can see, I have it turned off right here. And basically what we're doing when we close the books, is we're trying to prevent unwanted changes before filing the taxes. And this locks your books so no one can edit the accounting data before the closing date. So if you run your business on a calendar year as being the same as your fiscal year, you wanna go ahead and do this now. Basically all you have to do is you click on this little slider and that's gonna open up a little box here. You can click on the little calendar and go all the way back to December of 2023, as we've done here, click on the 31st. Now, once you do that, you have a couple of options here. You can allow changes after viewing a warning, or you can allow changes after viewing a warning and entering a password. What I would suggest that you do is you want to enter a password, especially if this is for someone who you know will end up going in there and mucking things up after you've already done all the reconciliations and everything for the end of the year or even by the previous month or whatever. So whatever the password is, you wanna make sure you enter it in this field and then you would confirm this password. And I'm not gonna actually go through this process of saving all this, but once you do that, you save all this because what would happen is once you save all this, is that anything that's dated on or before that closing date is going to prompt you to enter a password every single time you want to update a particular transaction in your books. So this is very helpful. If, like I said, if you've got people that you work for or that you're doing work for that tend to go in there and want to mess things up or they inadvertently do something that they shouldn't do to, to throw off your balances and stuff like that. So anyway, that's all I have for y'all today. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you very soon.